disservice guaranteed. I told you dipshits to be here yesterday. What's your excuse, I see? Shut up. Nobody cares. Call yourself a regional sales manager. That's what it says on my business card. And you, his assistant guy. I worked here for eight years and you still don't know my name. Ever. I crapped out two kids 23 years ago. I barely remember their name. So, Look, so things have been down in the last couple of I months. I wouldn't but... buy a bottle of water from you if my JJ were on fire. I wouldn't sell you one. You know, I think that Christ on ice thing was a setup. Yeah. I seem like one of those to fail, but why? Oh, it's obvious. He's got something up his sleeve. I believe that in time, all will be revealed. Oh, that real nice. What are you now, the Dolly fucking Llama? Where's Wang? I gave him the day off. Said something about going line dancing. Then you should go make us sandwiches. Why the fuck should I make us sandwiches? I got us an apartment. I got our Wang back. And you gave him the day off. What, so now I'm the fucking butler? The concierge? You're an idiot, but that's besides the point. You don't have to be so mean. I saw your stupid commercials. Christ on ice, is that supposed to be funny? It's a musical of a religious nature. You're walking on thin ice. I already had to counsel my evening with Osama bin Laden because, well, you know. You're an idiot, that's besides the point. So. I guess my one-man show, Dick Cheney Unplugged, is out as well. You have one week to get your head out of your ass or you're through, both of you. Well, you, I might want to keep around just for the occasional booty call. I'm married. No, you're not. Okay, then I'm gay. Fine, I'll wear a strap on. <laughs> That's it, I'm, I'm out of here. One week, I see. And it's really too bad about our boy Daryl, because I would like to see that strap on up his tight little. But what does this mean? No sandwiches? It means I'll be right here on the couch. You're just gonna sit there all day doing nothing? I might. What's it to you? Jerk off. Ass wipe. Where are you going? I gotta go to the head. Do you hear the way he talks to me? Like he's my fucking boss or something? Oh yeah, well he's got a lot of balls. Did you say something? No! Good. Little ass one. A filthy mouth will not speak beautiful words. Enough with the proverbs already, okay? I can hear you in here. Where are you going? I'm going to the head too. Oh! Fuck! Shit! Do you see what I have to go through? He's a fucking imbecile! I am being patient, but, but even I have my limits. He's not even trying. Did you say something? Uh, uh, no, I'm just uh, thinking out loud. Uh-huh. I, I don't think I'm being too harsh. I'm in his direction. You know, but... But, but... Oh, you know, I, I knew you'd end up taking his side. You know what? I don't need this fucking shit. Look at it from my point of view for a minute, will you? I mean, the pressure is overwhelming. It is. Okay, okay, I'll try again. All right. Bye-bye. I forgot to wipe. Really? I never even knew you knew how. You were talking behind my back again, weren't you? Don't fucking lie to me. What do you mean, don't be such a whiny little bitch? I 
thought I could trust you. I really did. Your betrayal was not without consequence. What are you saying now? Nothing! We'll finish this later. You were talking to the head, weren't you? No. Don't lie, Johnny. It'll only make things worse. There is nothing that I can say to the head that I can't say directly to your ugly face. Bull. Hey, Johnny. Frank. Where did that head come from? Disservice guaranteed.